Welcome, Aries, my loves. Let's see what's going on in your energy. Let's figure out the good and the bad, the light and the dark. Oh, y'all, my candle went out. Okay, so something's going out. Something is, is pretty much over. My candle just went out. Now, there's a lot of candle left, but for whatever reason, it just went out. Two of my three wicks are out right now, and there's one flame that is hanging on. So there may be a connection that is over, but someone is still hanging on. I don't know, Aries. We got to get into it, baby. That's very significant. I, I haven't had any issues with this candle. So let's see. But we're looking at the good and the bad. Let's see what Spirit wants us to know about the good and the bad. Well, the light and the dark. I won't say the good and the bad because that's wrong. That's not what I'm looking for. I would never go looking for something like that. Hell no. So, my loves, let's start again. Hey, y'all. I am Nick, baby. I am your reader. This is the Phoenix Tarot Tribe. Oh, okay. Somebody may be winded. Somebody's going to be tired, like, trying to explain themselves. Because I'm trying to explain to y'all what I just seen, what just happened, and how it made me feel. Okay? And we one minute into the daggone reading. Okay? We ain't even in the reading. We one minute into the video. So, someone may be tired of explaining themselves to someone. And that's what I'm feeling. I feel it heavy. So whoever this is in your energy or you and someone else's energy, they tired, baby. They tired of explaining things, their position, how they feel about things. So that might be why something is ending. This does feel like an ending for me. So we are going to go ahead. I do pray and sage off camera. So we're going to jump into this energy and see what spirit wants you to know at this time. I think I still got saved on the desk. It's okay. Hopefully, y'all having a good time. Happy birthday, y'all. I mean, is you outside doing the best that you can do for you? Like, just living? Okay. That being said, hopefully you are having the best birthday. That's what I want for you. Now, your overall energy is, I am not sure I can meet your expectations. The pressure is too much for me. Mm, mm, mm. I told y'all something is over. Something's ending for whatever reason. Whatever happened, happened, okay? Something happened. So someone may have come to the realization that they can't keep up with the pressure. It could be you and somebody else, or it could be someone thinking this way about the connection with you. I feel unbalanced and uneasy. That's what I was saying. I was feeling uneasy unbalanced trying to hurry up and explain myself and not really having the footing to kind of like move into the video the way i typically do so i totally understand that i don't know what to do to fix it i can't fix this candle right now baby i gotta actually blow out the the last wick so that i can relight my candle which i'm not about to do so somebody is not trying to relive or revisit situations is what i'm hearing Put people where they go. I always say that, y'all. Take what's yours. Y'all seen it flip. I'm going to take it. Because I happen to look down and see it flip. Take what's... And it's in reverse, whatever it is. Um, Take what's yours. Lead the rest for somebody else. Okay? Don't force anything. Okay, it is in reverse. This connection bores me to death. I need something more exciting. This is in reverse, y'all. So whoever this is that you're dealing with or were dealing with, I got to move this a little bit, y'all. I feel like y'all had y'all had good chemistry. I don't feel like it was negative. I don't feel like maybe, maybe there were things that needed to be said that didn't get said. That's what I do feel. Okay, I don't feel like the connection overall was like horrible, boring. You know, nobody really wanted to be here. That's not the energy I'm getting. I'm getting someone just being tired. And not knowing how to fix it, which right here and right here, I don't know how to fix it. I can't meet your expectations. Okay, so it seems like someone may have tried. I think of you at night when the world is asleep and my mind is awake. Whoever this is, it could be you or it could be them. This person is heavy on your mind, heavy in your spirit. And it could because there's 444. That is about homes. That is about your stability. That is, you know... Someone, you may have a house with this person because homes is the word that came out my mouth. So, you or you may have tried to have a home with this person. 
he tried to build stability with this person. Ooh, I see playing games and your perfection. Okay, that's wild. I don't know. We'll see what comes out. But we're getting a light in the dark on this situation. So stay with me. Don't play with me. Let's see what else comes out. If you are in a connection and you definitely, I see tears. Um, if you are really trying, if you're the energy that's trying, yeah, I can see you staying up late at night and everything trying to figure out how to make it work but ultimately you're overthinking the situation because something that's meant to be really doesn't always take that much work hold on y'all okay y'all something that's meant to be doesn't take a lot of work it does take work to keep it going and maintaining it it's that's okay that's regular that's what you should be doing but like going through, jumping through all these hoops and nothing ever is good enough. That ain't this. This shouldn't be the connection. I see I'm single at the bottom of the deck. So someone may be single. Someone may have said they want to be single. And you're mysterious. So now we're going to get into the idea of what positive things does this person feel about this connection with Aries or Aries with them. Spirit, tell me about I'm not sure I can meet your expectations. Now, as I say all the time, how it comes out, where it goes, that's where it's going to be. So this is going to, I feel unbalanced and uneasy. That's what we're clarifying here because it flew here. Excuse me, y'all. This is where Spirit wanted. You're my soulmate. But this is crossing, so this is the challenge. So this person knows that you're a soulmate to them, but they don't know how to fix it. You're my soulmate. soulmate, it must be written in the stars because you're most definitely my destiny. We belong together, okay? Red, there's a lot of love there, okay? Red and pink, love, definitely feeling it. All right, let's go back. Spirit, tell me about the pressure is too much for me. You're my favorite. You're the person I want to call when something good or bad happens. The first thought... I have when I have news to share. You're my person, okay? So this person you were building with was trying, it, or you were trying. I don't know. Put people where they go, love. But what I do see out here is one person really was invested. I won't say just one. I'll say someone's invested, right? But it's just, it's not easy, because I keep looking at the word uneasy. I don't really feel like it's super unbalanced. I just feel like it's uneasy. And this could be from having family and friends and other people in the connection is what I'm I'm feeling. I feel like there's more than two energies here. That's what I'll say. But I am seeing eights on the timer. So there is some kind of abundance. There may be an abundance of growth or whatever. You hurt me. Everything that happened hurt me so so much i need more time to heal okay so where one person may think that this connection is just not fun for someone they're not interesting enough for someone is what i heard that's not it someone just is trying to heal from something that happened that hurt maybe they didn't speak on how deeply it hurt them or something of the sort so say uh you and your person had a um disagreement of sorts like a verbal disagreement right and you i won't say you one of you may have had like a long day y'all and say you took it out on the other person some things may have gotten said that necessarily weren't meant to be said to your partner that's what i feel like okay so for you to follow me follow just stay with me okay so me and my person arguing blase squat it ain't it's not even really that major it might be about me taking a car and not refilling the gas something simple right which i would never <laughs> i grew up different okay but just for the sake of argument let's say that's what happened so my person is like Oh, you know, I had to go far. I had I had to make this long drive and I was pressed for time and you took the car and it was really um, a situation for me because I was already behind and I had to stop and get gas and da, 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 da. Now I'm stressed out from work. They're stressed out from their situation and work, right? And I feel attacked 
So I say, okay, well, but you're strong and able body. You could have filled it up. You should have left earlier as an adult, right? Is that necessarily the thing to say? No. But you see, do you see where I'm going with that? Like sometimes you will already have things going on in your life and you take it all on the person closest to you. Or, you know, it could be a situation where one of you shut down and don't say anything. Just harbor and let that that anger or not even anger, that little bit of um, annoyment fester, right? Oh, confer confirmation. So whoever I'm talking to, they let it fester. They don't talk. And I am definitely understanding that because a lot of times I'm non-confrontational. I used to be rather, and I would just 11-11, I would let things fester until you've done pissed me off four, five times. Now I got to tell you, and I'm going to read your rights. I'm going to be like, this on this day, at this time you did this, da 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 da, da. So when y'all see the memes where they're like, a woman can run back, yeah, I'm a cancer, baby. I am going to go back and tell you everything that happened. But I'm going to keep giving you a chance to come toward me with a explanation or an apology that sets it right. But I don't feel like I should have to request it. But as an adult, I do know now that a closed mouth don't get fed. So if something is bothering me, I have to bring it to the table rather than wait six months and be like, you know what? In January, you did this and this and this, and you didn't uh, shuffle the walk when it snowed. So I went outside and shuffled the walk because we all had to leave for work, right? My significant other is looking at me like, what? It's June. What are you talking about? So that's the kind of scenario I'm getting in my head. Someone is definitely harming a small, it's a small thing. I want to say it's not major, but it's just someone hanging on to something. Um, and it could be because they, they have a safety, a safety net and they're still attached to an ex. So this could be a fairly new type of relationship because this is a relationship. These are going to be relationships readings. I'm attached to my ex emotionally, physically, or spiritually. I need time and space to break this connection. So somebody is still very much hanging on to what I feel like is a safety net of some sort. So, you know, a lot of times when you've been with a person for a while, it might be easier to tell them like, hey, you know, I had a bad day. That's not the person you should be talking to about it. You should be talking to your partner and trying to work through that with your partner. Um, I just heard somebody then slipped up and told somebody that the sex was off. And it's an X. And that X is taking that as an end. And then I look over at these cards. <clears throat> somebody thinking that somebody wants to come back because of them just sharing that little bit of information with them. And that's not really what the person's intentions was. They just were venting to someone they thought was a friend who really isn't a friend it's an ex and there people are exes for a reason y'all can we can we understand that at this big age because everybody on this channel is over 18 we all have different experiences at different times yes but let's be mindful that if something didn't work out with somebody you being in a new connection still dealing with that person puts you at a disadvantage i don't give a fuck how i mean yeah be cordial if you got kids you got assets and things like that you got to work together or whatever be cordial yeah but telling that person your personal business never going to be a good thing i've never seen it work out because in the end somebody's going to feel stung about it spirit tell me about you're my favorite oh yeah somebody's hanging on to somebody with the four pentacles y'all i cannot keep these cards up there like that because these cards are not even for this <laughs> i used them um thursday and I just felt like taking them out again. Spirit, tell me about I feel unbalanced, uneasy, uneasy um, but you're my soulmate. The Three of Pentacles. They would love to build with you. They just don't really know how. Honestly. And like I said, I felt like it was a lot of people in this connection. Or, you know, having something. Look at all them eyes, baby. I'm just going to be quiet for a second. Y'all look at them eyes. A lot of people got eyes on this connection or something of the sort. So maybe you are posting this person on social media, maybe in friend groups, whatever the case may be, your close friends, whatever. So people are watching. Somebody feels like you're not completely happy. Look at that sun. It's not, it's not complete. It's got things going through it and it's people looking through it. And then if you look at these people in the back, they got their arms crossed, crossed like they waiting on you to feel. You may have known this person for a long time because these are older people, y'all. 
put people where they go as always okay so just something to think about like having so many hands in the pot is what i, I want to say you can't you can't expect to have that win and everybody got their hands in the pot but I feel like the two of y'all are still hanging on to each other with the four of pentacles. I feel like that is both energies. We got the four of cups in reverse, okay? So, can um, can we speak that it's not a negative situation? It's just the fact like y'all ain't on one accord. I feel like there should be conversation of some sort that needs to happen. Now, I feel like it needs to be positive conversation. No extra people. Nobody watching. Just between you and your person. And that, this, we got the four of wands. Four of wands, again, is showing itself because this is your person. I, it, you know it. They know it. The challenge is how to make it work with this person. I understand, y'all. It's it's hard a lot of days to be an adult. A lot of days, I would love to go back. But mm, here we are. We out here. <laughs> I just heard we out here. So <laughs> somebody is like, eh, we here now. We got to figure it out. And that is it. I mean, because there has to be some kind of happiness that is in this. Because we look at all the colors. The colors are kind of like the rainbow for me. It is telling me that there is a lot of creativity, a lot of things going on. But they're at the top. So it's giving me the idea that if you guys could get on one accord creatively, you could come to a conclusion that works better for the connection, whatever that is. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It's going to be different for everybody. So, you got to talk it out with your people. Somebody's stressed. I feel stressed. She's smoking a cigarette, y'all. Shit. I feel stressed. I feel like basically, yeah, row one. <laughs> row one is what I heard. <laughs> row one. So, somebody may, may toke a little, you know, whatever. But, and I have nothing against that. Do what you do, baby. Do what keeps you calm, keep you safe, keep you sane. If you're doing it in a, a productive manner and you're being safe about it always, because there's a lot of weird stuff out here, but she's by herself. So this could be a feminine energy that is like wanting the connection to work because both of these are feminine energies, but it's just, I don't know. I don't know. She looked like she didn't gave it to God, honestly. <laughs> Y'all, oh, she didn't gave it to God because the smoke is going straight up to the heavens or whoever you subscribe to. The smoke is going up to the heavens. But she looking like she's stressed, but she she has a smirk on her face like, okay, she didn't hit that cigarette hard as hell or that little cig of weed hard as hell. And she's feeling a little bit better, a little bit calmer. Okay, I can, I can move forward is what I heard. Somebody may be able to move forward. Somebody may smoke weed feel like often but you know they still handle their responsibilities do what they need to do okay so we got the two of, the two of wands to the three of cups okay now if y'all can get on one accord i'm just saying there could be a victory there could be a celebration this is your person. Like, you're my favorite person. You're my soulmate. This connection is probably meant to be 444. Four, 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 four. I see 444. Four, four. No, I see 4 and 4. Sorry. Um, but I seen 444 four, 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 four on the timer earlier. So, oh, that's twin, mate, twin, twin flame numbers as well. Ooh. We got the Nine of Cups. I've never seen this. Y'all, I've had this deck forever. I don't use it. The Nine of Cups. You could get all your wishes fulfilled. This is Medusa. Um, but it's still the Nine of Cups about getting all your wishes fulfilled. And what that's what's hidden. These are your overall energies over here. The Moon. Cancerian energy. Something is hidden because Cancerian Piscerian energy, actually. Something is hidden because Spirit wants you to work through these i feel like it's communication honestly y'all i don't feel like there's malice i don't feel like i don't i don't know i don't want to get into that just yet spirit give me one more did i not just say spirit and spirit flew up here like this this is a temperance car y'all the spirit flew up here to the four of pentacles hanging on y'all hanging on to each other spirit is here telling y'all 
this is this is your person so y'all have to learn to communicate y'all probably are here to do a thing this is probably a twin flame journey high level soulmate journey somebody you're supposed to be with baby no it's not easy i'll give you that i definitely i ain't, I ain't gonna throw no shade at that because we all have been through so much to come to this channel to find this channel you've been through some things baby because my prayer when i started this channel send me those that need the help i needed at a point those that I can encourage, I can love wholeheartedly, and I know genuinely want the help. Because tarot isn't really, the divination part of it for me isn't about the divination. It's about the help that I'm giving back to people that actually need and want that clarification, that help. Because there's points where things get murky and you can't really, you you praying and you 21, 21, you praying and you trying to move forward and you trying to learn and you like, well, okay, what's my next step? Um, I'm hearing a song and it's a church song, y'all. Order my steps in the order my steps. Oh Lord, it, it is a church song I used to sing to my mama. I cannot remember the the words right now, but if I find it, I'll put it down in the comments. As we move forward to you're my soulmate with the three of pentacles working together. I feel like it's you, this person in spirit working together. This is upright energy. Yes, there's a lot of people watching. Yes, they probably don't feel like y'all are going to make it. But guess what? Long as you got God, that's all that really matter. We got the six of pentacles and the star. We are seeing all kinds of blessings out here, y'all. I can't hold the star up there because her boobies out. And her booty out. I ain't. I told you, I ain't used these cards yet. And then we got the death upright. Okay, death. This is a transformation. What needs to happen? The two of you need to learn to communicate. Give to each other. Build each other up. Learn to speak life into each other, baby. Because if you look at, I can't keep putting her up there with her boobies out. I can't cut. Okay, I got her. Got her booty and her boobies. There's stars all around the star energy, of course. But behind that. That yellow for me is spirit backing the growth, the wishes, all those things that spirit does. Spirit comes through for you, right? This is going to cause the transformation once the two of you begin to communicate and give to each other wholeheartedly, honestly, the way you should. Right, right. Talk that talk. Yes, it may feel unbalanced at this time, but I feel unbalanced and uneasy. This this communication between y'all may be uneasy. This may be somebody coming back in your life that was a um, former life partner in another life. Whatever that is, it could have been a twin flame. It could have been a high level soulmate. We all read different things. So if you know some other things from past life experience, drop it down in the comments. I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to do the research myself. I love that. And I love y'all that do leave me information. I do check up on it. Can't always respond because I'll be busy, but I do come back around. Um, this transformation is what we're talking about right now. Working with your person, working with spirit. I feel like the both of y'all are going to grow. And these are wishes that are going to be fulfilled. That leads to this three of cups. We got the seven of cups. I feel like these are options. And we got the jack of cups, which is the knight of cups. I, this is your person, y'all. This is just reiterating what i am saying it's telling you don't give up on this person that's what i'm hearing y'all i'm about in tears it's a beautiful reading it's just saying don't give up okay even if you draw back your energy some pray for your person pray for yourself pray for the connection but be open and honest about the things that you want and you need what does that mean spirit give me the wisdom to use my words effectively spirit give me the wisdom to know how to be the partner that my partner needs spirit is this my partner first spirit what do you want me to do what am i supposed to be doing to make this connection grow or feel um like a safe space for my person right now we are we gotta speak on it because of this energy right here we're in the energy of the total eclipse, which brings about changes. This happened in Aries, baby. This is y'all. This is y'all shaking things up, baby. Okay. I am not mad. Somebody may drink a lot. Um, She passed out or someone may have drank a lot. She's passed out. But 
it is what it is spirit tell me about what the hell is going on over here we got the four of cups in reverse but you hurt me and um basically there is enough excitement in this connection for someone the judgment you got to make the decision to do the work baby you got to make the decision to speak up and help heal the things that were not appropriate in your eyes okay aries we know you're the emperor and that's masculine or feminine so you lead okay don't forget to be compassionate sometime okay because this is your person we go outside our doors and we fight the world and when we come home that is our sanctuary whatever home is it could be communication it could be whatever it should be a safe space for your person they should be able to open up and express and you not take it personally you should be able to open up and express and they not take it personally y'all gotta work on that the judgment spirit tell me about the judgment we got the lovers choose this person i'm not telling you to choose this person you got to make the choice to choose this person if that's what you want if that's what spirit tells you and you feel is right, then you do that so you can move forward. Spirit is guiding you. This is very much so a to the point reading, y'all. It ain't been like this in a while. I love that with the six of swords. You choosing this person, y'all moving forward, getting past the hurt. And that is requiring forgiveness. So, you know, as, as the Aries Emperor, you kind of got to come down out of your ego a little bit. I'm not saying that you're lesser. The four of wands again. We do have four 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 on here now for sure. We got the four of wands, the four of wands. We've seen it. Baby, this is your person. How many times spirit gonna tell you? How many times? Because I don't I don't know how many. We hard headed. <laughs> we hard because baby, my rising is Aries. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> Real funny. I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Cause my, my my I have an Aries rising. Yes, I do. And my pride will get out there and I'll be like, F all that. I will. And it's not appropriate, but I'm working on it. I'm judgment. I'm learning. Temperance. I'm learning. The star. I'm wishing that I can get the help that I need. The two of swords. You didn't see it going this way. You didn't. So maybe you didn't think you were going to really be in a connection with this person and y'all kind of fell into each other. And that's fine. But we have to see the things that are there. And in the morning energy... What came out was the Two of Swords, seeing things from a different perspective. Perspective with the the Two of Swords with the Hangman plus the Sun. Okay, go watch that reading because it'll be up before this one. Okay, so let's just say that Spirit is tricky. I love Spirit for this one. One more. Mm, that was a lot. Okay. What I said, the hangman, we got the eight of cups to the hangman to the three of swords. Walk the hell away from your pride and your ego, ego talking about this person hurt me. No, speak on it so we can heal from it. That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying that your feelings are invalid. I would never say that to you. I love y'all too much to say that. What I'm saying is speak on it so you can walk away from that hurt change the perspective, change the narrative, and then let the hurt go, okay? At the bottom of the deck, we do have the two of pentacles. Don't keep trying to balance the connection and balance this hurt. Pick one. If you want to be hurt, want to be pissed off at this person, then do that, baby. But don't drag them through this. This is the card that I, I keep seeing. I'm going to use it. I'm not going to shuffle the deck. I'm let's pick this one up. Beware of what you are projecting, y'all. I swear on, on me. If spirit ain't here with us, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in another are qualities you both possess. Being strong-minded. That's what came to my mind. Equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. Being hard-headed and being in your ego. So I feel like, I'm just going to say it, Aries. I feel like everybody putting out boss daddy, boss mama, boss person energy. 
but there's a clash of ego. We have to learn to be submissive to our partner. And yes, that goes for masculines and feminines. Because if we understand that we can learn from both each other, we're going to grow faster. The bond is going to be that much stronger. You see, you can't you can't hardly get, look at my hands. You can't get in there like that. Ain't nobody going to be able to come between y'all. That's what spirit wants for you. That is really what the temperance is about. Finding balance. All right, my loves. This has been a beautiful reading. Spirit on your head. Now, it's your turn to do what you need to do with the two of pentacles. What you gonna do? <laughs> I'm asking y'all, what you gonna do? All right, now, don't get a whooping because spirit will whoop you and you ain't gonna like how that feel. I'm telling you guys, your big sister, cousin, auntie, friend, I've been there. I don't like it when spirit whoop me. Maybe y'all hard-headed. I ain't that hard-headed. I'm an Aries, but that ain't my son. <laughs> my loves, my loves. Thank you all for being here. I wish you health, wealth, prosperity, and abundance. Anything you need from me is down in the comments. Thank you to everybody that is purchasing anything. Thank you to everybody that is helping us grow emotionally, mentally. I, need, I just got to recognize that because y'all are some of the best people I have ever met, especially on in an online setting. This is a safe space. And I really appreciate those of you that keep it that way. Until next time, my loves, I wish you love, okay? Choose yourself first and then choose the partner that best suits you. I love you all.